Alex Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, we're going to uh, take a look at this interesting, uh, I wouldn't call it vintage, it's a few years old, and it's uh, not currently in distribution, I don't believe. Um, at least I couldn't get my hands on it online, but I did come across it at a uh, vintage shop and I thought, you know, it wasn't expensive. Let me pick it up and take a look at it and uh, show it all to you to remind everyone that uh, there are other companies out there besides Rolex and Omega. This is a Dugena. This is a Dugena uh, multifunction. It's actually a uh, triple date with a day night indicator and a 24 hour hand in the uh, sub dial and it's gold plated, but it's a very, very good gold plating in the sense that it's quite rugged. Um, it hasn't really rubbed off on any of the high points on the watch. So let's turn the camera around and take a look at it. Uh, but before I do, please remember to subscribe. It really helps the channel. So let's do this. Here's the Dugena Classic M-Tech Multifunction Watch. It is a gold plated, they call it ion plated, so they must have figured out a way to make the gold stick well, because actually this really does have a, a good gold plating. This is a used watch, and uh, the plating is still pretty good. I don't see any big scratches on it, and um, you could tell by the strap that the watch has been worn and used. Um, so points for the uh, gold plating on this piece. now. It's a triple date, um, not an annual calendar, not a perpetual, just a straight up and down triple date. Um, it has interesting functionality, I'll show you in a second. It um, has a day-night indicator, not a moon phase with an accompanying 24-hour hand. And uh, all of these pushers are directly related to the uh, calendar function, not to any kind of chrono, but it looks nice and gadgety even though it is a uh, dressy watch. Now, uh, let's see something. Here we go. Mineral crystal uh, front glass. There is a rear display. We'll show you that in a second. But I just wanted to run through the functionality real quick. It's a straight up and down um, calendar watch. You see, and you see the day night indicator at the bottom with the 24 hour hand and triple date. Now, each of the pushers, each of the pushers controls one of the sub dials, which allows the uh, mechanism to be made less complex so you don't have to control it from the stem. Um, this is a mechanical calendar watch. Automatic mechanical, mechanical calendar watch. It's three atmospheres, which basically, you know, hand washing, as you know. Um, but it's actually not a bad looking movement. Let's turn it around so you can, let's see the, uh, Balance wheel. So there we go. You know, I, I doubt it's, <laughs> if the front's not sapphire, I doubt the back's going to be sapphire. But yeah, <laughs> the back's not sapphire. But it is a nice looking movement, especially when you consider the fact that uh, this is only about a $200 value watch. Uh, Dugena used to really be a good value mechanical watch company. Now they're a good value uh, quartz watch company. They still make nice watches, but uh, they're pretty much playing in the uh, three to $500 range at their mainstream uh, price point. It does have a very nice face with the, uh, I don't think it's guilloche, it's probably stamped, but still has a nice pattern on the front. Uh, it's a passable office watch, suit watch. I uh, wouldn't wear it with jeans, but um, you could get away with this as a daily wear in the office. It's not a bad watch, and considering you can get one for about 200 bucks if you can find one online, um, it is 
a good value in the mechanical piece. So there we have it. The uh, Dugena uh, full calendar, day-night indicator, decent presentation, all in all a nice piece. So let's turn the camera around and uh, close out the episode. So that was the uh, Dugena multifunction. A really nice, inexpensive mechanical watch that punches above its weight, definitely, especially considering we're only talking about a $200 watch here. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate you taking the time. Leave a like if you're not going to subscribe, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Thanks. Thank you.